Um, so, good morning, everyone, and can I welcome members to the 17th meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. And as we meet this morning, our thoughts are with the people of Manchester, and in particular with the families and friends of those who have lost their lives and those who are injured. So it is with a heavy heart this morning, then, that we continue with our business. Move to agenda item one, which is instruments subject to affirmative procedure, and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the draft prohibited procedures and protected animals exemptions Scotland amendment regulations 2017, or on the draft mental health absconding miscellaneous amendments Scotland regulations 2017, or on the draft mental health cross-border visits Scotland Amendment and Regulations 2017. Accordingly, is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. Moving now to agenda item two, which is instruments subject to negative procedure, and no points have been raised by our legal advisers on the roadworks, Qualifications of Operatives and Supervisors, Scotland Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 147, or on the First Tier Tribunal for Scotland, Oaths Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 148, or on the Act of Sedarent Fees of Sheriff Officers, Amendment 2017, SSI 2017, number 153, or on the inquiries into fatal accidents and sudden deaths, etc., Scotland Act 2016, Consequential Provisions, Regulations 2017, SSI 2017, number 156. So is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. Moving now to agenda item three, which is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. And agenda item three, um, the, the next instrument for consideration is the Act of a Journal, Criminal Procedures, Rules 1996, Amendment Miscellaneous 2017, SSI 2017, number 144. And this instrument makes some technical amendments to the Criminal Procedure Rules 1996, further to the commencement of Parts 3 and 5 of the Criminal Justice Scotland Act 2016. Paragraph 2.8a omits various words from a form of record of proceedings at Judicial Examination Form 5.2 in the appendix to those 1996 rules. It was intended that the signing details by the Sheriff Clerk would also be omitted from the form. So accordingly, does the committee agree to draw the instrument to the attention of Parliament on the general reporting ground as it contains the minor drafting error, errors I have just outlined? Thank you. The Lord President's Office has clarified that no legal effect flows from the inclusion of the signing details. So does the committee therefore agree to accept that the Lord President accept that the Lord President's office has undertaken to correct the minor error at the next appropriate opportunity by means of an amendment? Thank you. The next instrument for consideration is the Act of a Journal Criminal Procedure Rules nineteen ninety six, Amendment number two, Human Trafficking and Exploitation two thousand and seventeen. SSI 2017, number 145. And while no points have been raised by our legal advisers on this instrument, an inconsistency in drafting approach has been identified between this instrument and the SSI 2017, uh, number 144, which I just mentioned as containing a minor error. In short, this instrument refers in certain places to an offender while SSI number 144 refers to a person. So in light of the committee's general interest in promoting consistency in drafting, does the committee agree to welcome the Lord President, 
private office intention to consider the inconsistency in drafting approach at their next drafters meeting. Thank you. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Carers Scotland Act 2016, Commencement Number 2 and Savings Provision Regulation 2017, SSI 2017 Number 152, or on the Act of Sederant Sheriff Court Rules Amendment Miscellaneous 2017, SSI 2017 Number 154. So is the committee also content with these instruments? Thank you. If we move now to agenda item four, and the next item is the consideration of the delegated powers within the Wild Animals in Travelling Circuses Scotland Bill. The Bill confers on Scottish Ministers one power to make subordinate legislation, namely the power to commence the Bill by regulations in Section 7. It is suggested that we could be content with this power. So, does the committee agree that it is content with the one power in the Bill and agree to prepare a Stage 1 report to that effect? Thank you. Agenda item 5 is the draft annual report for 2016-17 and it runs from the parliamentary year from the 12th of May 2016 to the 11th of May 2017. And under Rule 12.9 of Standing Orders, the Committee is obliged to report to Parliament at the end of each parliamentary year on its activities during that year. So we therefore have before us a draft annual report for the parliamentary year 2016-17. Do members have any comments on the draft report? No. No. So does the committee agree that it is content with the report in that case? Thank you very much. I now close the meeting. Thank you very much for your attendance. <laughs>